Okay, so today we're going to take our first WebAssign quiz. So first of all, make sure you are logged in. Um, I haven't checked this morning yet, but I will check to make sure and I'll reach out to you if you haven't. Um, so go ahead and log in and then um, make sure you click on Trig. So it should look something like this. So this is, um, I can do a student view, so it should look something like this. And from this point, okay, and again, if it says your grace, if your grace period is ended, make sure you press the yellow button on the left-hand side. There's a lot of miscommunication. The yellow button on the left-hand side. And at any point during um, these next couple of weeks that it says your grace period is ended again, press the yellow button on the left-hand side. That is how um, WebAssign is doing this. It's just offering continuous trials. So um, again, press the yellow button on the left-hand side unless you've bought it. If you've bought it, you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, so you wanna click on, um, under my assignment, it's, it's the 3.5 quiz, and if you'll notice, this is Friday at 12 a.m., so that technically means tonight by midnight. Tonight by midnight. So um, be sure to make sure that you have this completed by then. So you wanna click on that link, Okay, and it's going to come up and look something like this. In the event something happens, and I know this is our first one, over here on the right-hand side, there is a spot where it does say request extension. If something happens, then um, we can definitely, um, we can try this again, but only use that in terms of great distress. Now, another thing that you can do is you can print this assignment. So if you want to, if you want to print it and then you want to go and work on it and come back, that's fine. Okay. Now I did put some instructions here because this is going to look a little different. So it says, please make sure you read the questions. Okay. These are asking for radians as answers when you get to the degree. So what we've been doing in class is degrees. So once you get your degree, you want to switch it to a radian. Um, and then um, input it. So remember to switch to a radian, you want to multiply by pi over 180. Um, they want exact, so use the helpful equation editor on the left. So when you click into this box, on the right hand side, you'll notice that this calc pad comes up. So anytime you need a fraction, here's the fraction bar, okay, the little box over the box. If you need to create your radian and put pi on top and your radian on bottom, Okay, that's what you're going to use there if you need an exponent, if you need a square root. Okay, so in this one I can put a, um, I don't know that this is the answer, it's not, or it might be. So in this one I can put a square root there, um, I can go to the bottom and I can add in a number. If, I'm, if you're looking for pi, okay, if you're looking for pi, you want to go down to trig. Nope, that's not where you want to go to. Let me find it. That's operations, functions, symbols, under symbols, okay? Again, it's a learning experience for all of us. Under, symbol, so under symbols is the pi, okay? So you can add pi in there um, wherever it needs to be, okay? Now, once you're done, um, submit your answer. You have three tries on each one of these. So I've given you three tries. Um, so once you do your third try, that one will stick. Um, that answer will stick. So make sure that um, you um, look for your, uh, make sure you submit your answers as you go through. So again, you'll just go down through. These are all things that we would have seen. Um, if the number is red, that means the variable changes per person. So the quiz is not exact per person. So at the end, make sure that you submit your assignment and um, once that's done, you will see your um, answer, or you will see your grade. So if you have any questions, give me an email, give me a call, but again, make sure, these are in radians, so make sure that you answer the question. You're more than welcome to use your notes in your book. Know that WebAssign, um, let me hop out of this and I will show you a couple of things about it. Um, at the top, you can see my ebook. So guess what? If you are um, if you are stumped, or you want to look at the book, or by chance you might want to do some homework in the book, keep in mind that um, you can use this book. We are because this is an algebra trick book. We are actually in chapter six of this book. 
but it still goes a length, so instead of 3.5 and 3.6, it's 6.5 and 6.6. .6. So you can jump to those. So this quiz is actually going to be over in the in the book, in the ebook that's on here, it's actually going to be over 6.5, okay? So um, you can actually go there and use those resources there. So inverse trig functions, um, if you need to refer to a book, you are welcome to do that, okay? And just page through it. So again, the homework's there. So you can try some of the homework. And um, so yeah, so if you have any questions, I think once you get used to this, this is the platform that we will be taking our test on next week. And so um, familiarize yourself with it. Another thing that I want to uh, familiarize yourself with is, let me get out of this and go back to, um, is, can I go to my assignments? Again, I'm still learning. Uh, nope, let's go to home. Okay, on your home page. So if you look right down here, there's a place called personalized study plan. So personalized study plan. So what this allows, if you go to chapter six and you go, there's some quizzes that you can try. There's some practice quizzes that you can try for each one of those. Um, but also they have, as you go through them, they have tutorials. So if you look over here on the right side, um, you can go through um, the tutorial for inverse trig functions. So there's different videos that you can watch um, you can watch the video, you, then you can try to work on the video um, and master that. So um, know that some of those things we may not have covered in class because, um, again, it doesn't go straight with um, what my notes don't go straight with the book. But you can always watch those videos. So keep that in mind and then attempt some. So you do have the personalized study guides and the tutorials, and those are located on the home page. So right here under um, personal plan. So, and then again, under resources, this is your ebook, or you can use your ebook up at the top. So, um, try those. Go through some study plans if you need to, get some refresher. And, um, and again, this quiz, the 3.5 quiz, is due at midnight tonight. Okay, midnight tonight. So, um, make sure that you get that done. Okay, if you have any questions, email me or call me.